Hey YouTube, what's up? We're up to like 11 here, and I just went to Petco. Uh, I just went to Petco because my local reptile shop is, uh, they don't really have these digital thermometers, which I wanted because they only had the stick on ones. They have like the glue on it or the adhesive. And uh, they're like the same price about, so I figured when I get a digital one that you can move around from cage to cage. And, uh, right now, I just got this and that. And more about this, it's digital as you know. It has Celsius, Fahrenheit. Just hold it in for three seconds and it turns off. And it has a 39 inch long cord on it for the probe. What I'm saying it's pretty long. 39 inches. So and it has a suction cup on here for the cord and for the back. It's pretty good. And uh it was $7.99. I don't know. Eight bucks about. Next thing I got was some pine bedding. A very big bag and it's a very good price. As you can see next to my hand. It uh pretty big bag, it's nine bucks. And it's very, very compact. Very compact. So it'll last you a real long time. And it uh it's clean evergreen scent for reliable odor control. I don't really care about that. And it's dust free for healthier pets and care. And uh it's nine bucks. It's a real good price. It's very compact and as you can see how deep it is too, so uh, what else? Oh yeah, tomorrow I'm getting a, well tomorrow's the uh, August 8th or 9th or 7th, I think, hold on, it's the 8th, getting a western hog nose, probably later on in the day, maybe like 5 in the afternoon, so, I'm getting rid of my king snake, no I just got him. He's an escape artist, dude. He's getting out of these cages like nothing. And I have weights on him. And I seen him and he almost got out, but and I just got back from vacation right now and he's in the shed. Hold on a second. I'm about to soak him right now. I know you're not supposed to pick him up, but he's very mellow for being in the shed. He just hisses a little bit. And uh his milkiness on the bottom went away a little bit, but his eyes are Hold on a second. He's squirmish. I don't know if you can see that. They're very milky. You can't even see anything of his eye. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's not really coming out on the camera. But, uh... He's... Yeah. I didn't really... Some reptiles I just like and some I don't. I don't know. And plus, I don't want him to get out. Or else I won't be having any more reptiles. Because my parents will kill me. So, I'm giving them my friend. He'll probably take him. And I'm getting my western hognose back that I gave to him. We swap reptiles a lot. Well, I had my western hognose. It's a female. And uh, I used to work at a pet store. So, somebody gave her to me. And uh, she gave me like, a whole bunch of stuff with it. A light and everything. She said one thing to do is just keep her name. Her name is Sarah. So that was pretty cool. I got a free hog nose. It's a female, too. I probably said that already. But, yeah. So, she's probably going to be going to this 10 gallon or a 20 or a 15 because my friend is giving me one. But most likely in this 10 because she's still pretty small. I don't know. I'll find a cage or something for her. And, uh, right over here as usual. Navigation turtle. I just took the light off the screen. I'm just checking everything out. Oh, there it is. It's over there in the corner. <coughs> oh, and I also need some suggestions on something to heat the snakes' cages. And I'm probably getting a uh, Kenyan sand boa. Uh, what is it? The, uh, I'm going to the Cleveland Reptile Expo on August 17th. So, I'm a. Uh, 
look for a Kenyan sand boat. So, and they have those heat mats that go on the bottom. They like stick on the bottom and they come with the things, the little rubber grommets that lift your cage up. I don't like those. Every single one that I got, I think it's from Zoomed. They do not work. I don't know why. Just mine. They last a month and they would not heat the cage. And I had digital thermometers and everything in there. And uh, I don't know why it just wouldn't bring heat to the cage. And I had the uh, a 10 gallon sized one for a 10 gallon and I had a 55 gallon sized one for like a 40 gallon or whatever and they just I don't know why they just crapped out really fast and uh so give me some ideas I need I don't really know what that heat tape is or whatever because I'm only gonna have maybe like two or three snakes so I'm not really gonna have a reptile rack most likely I'm only gonna have two snakes so uh People told me to uh, you go to like the drugstore and they got like those heat pads for people if they're back or whatever. But uh, yeah, just leave some suggestions. I don't really like those heat pads that like glue on the bottom of your cage. So uh, comment, subscribe. Once again, leave suggestions. So uh, see you guys later.